Hey guys, it's Justin with MPI, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how in under 15 minutes, you can take our Vend plug and play solution and have it up and running in your store. So here, we're gonna show you what's in the box. We have our Apple Extreme. We have our Apple iPad. We have our Pax S300 credit card terminal. We also have our iPad stand. Next is our cash register cable, our Epson printer, receipt printer, our APG cash drawer, and finally a great add-on that we highly recommend is our Socket Mobile Bluetooth scanner. So there's a couple things we recommend that you have that are not included in the box, such as Cat5 cables, a, a surge protector, and a Phillips head screwdriver. So for the Cat5 cables, we want to make sure that you have them long enough that they will run from the device to your modem or Apple Extreme. So we want to make sure that this one right here is long enough to run from your modem to the Apple Extreme to give internet to the Apple Extreme. We want to make sure that this one is long enough to run from the Apple Extreme to the receipt printer. And we want to make sure that this one is long enough to run from the Apple Extreme to the S300 credit card terminal. All right guys, so first we're going to set up the Apple Extreme. So it comes already preset through MPI. So you don't have to worry about wasting time setting up an Apple Extreme, learning how to set up an Apple Extreme. It comes in right out of the box. We're gonna unbox it. So here's the Apple Extreme. You're gonna have in bottom in here, you're gonna have all of the power cords that you're gonna need. So looking at the back of the Apple Extreme, you're gonna see the power cord. This is where your Cat5 uh, in from your modem will go. There's a USB port and then there's three additional ports here. So we're gonna simply plug in the power cord here. And then we're going to also plug in our Cat5 cable directly in from the modem here. And again, this will already be preset for your business. So you just literally will take it out of the box, plug it in, and you're good to go. Right, now that we have the Apple Stream all set up, the next step is going to be unboxing our iPad and then putting our iPad into our high quality aluminum durable stand. So we're going to unbox the iPad. Everything comes pre-set up, so the iPad will be ready to go. It is already, as long as you have your Apple Extreme set up, which we set up in the previous video, it will already find the internet connection, so you're good to go there. It'll also already be pre-downloaded with Vend, and it will have all of the, the proper security parameters, as well as uh, Lifesaver for the battery and all of that stuff. So we're gonna unbox the iPad. So there's the iPad. Here is the power cord here, and then the power adapter as well. So it is always a good idea to plug in your iPad after every business day so that you have a fully charged iPad. So we're gonna set this aside for right now. We're gonna plug it in so that it is powering up. And then now we're gonna move on to the stand here. So this is a high quality stand. It's very durable, it's made of aluminum construction. For this stand in particular, you're gonna need a Phillips head screwdriver. So we're gonna turn the stand upside down. We're gonna pull out, there are four screws in each corner. So we're gonna undo all of these screws here. And then we're gonna place the iPad into the bottom of the stand like that. And again, this is one of the many stands that we offer here at MPI. Some of the other stands that we offer come with an Allen wrench that is necessary to fasten it properly. So working on the last screw here. Now that all screws are fastened, the iPad is in the stand and we're good to go with the next step. All right guys, so the next step is going to be setting up your Epson printer. So right out of the box, it's gonna, be, it's gonna come already configured properly, 
So it's literally going to be plug and play. So we're going to plug it into the Apple Extreme and you're good to go. We recommend Epson printers uh, just because they are super durable, super reliable. The warranty that they have is outstanding for service um, and all of that. And the printing speeds uh, are, are pretty quick. So here is the Epson printer. We're going to flip it over right here. So you're going to see that there is a port for the Cat5 cable as well as the power cord and the cash register cord here. Now you notice that the cash register, where the cash register cord gets plugged into, there's a little image of a cash register and there's DK. The most common mistake is plugging in the Cat5 cable into the cash drawer release port and vice versa. So just wanna make sure that you know that those two are separate. An easy way to do it is if you look at the Cat5, it looks like the Cat5 on the back of your uh, computer or on the Apple Extreme, there should be two lights there as well. So for this, you're going to need your Cat5 cable. So we're going to plug the Cat5 cable into the register port there. And then we're going to plug it into the back of the Apple Extreme here. Next, pull the gray cord out of your cash register box. This is going to be what you're going to plug into the uh, into the cash register and then it's going to release it so it's going to open it. You'll notice here that there is a smaller port, there's a larger port as well. So this is going to be what's going to be plugged into the bottom of the cash register door. The smaller, as you'll notice, will be plugged into the printer here. So we're going to plug that in and then of course you do need power. So we're going to plug the power cord into the printer here. And then we're good to go. Okay, right, so next up is going to be setting up the APG cache drawer. So we do recommend APG cache drawers just because they are more durable. So it is a pretty simple register here. We have two options. There is either the steel front uh, or you can just get a, an all black uh, metal front there. There's the key on the front, so it's gonna give you two options. You can either pop the cache drawer or you can lock it. So to pop it, you turn to the left and then you open the drawer. So here you'll see that this is removable. It is a standard cash drawer. It is five till uh, spring-loaded hinges here. We do have a couple other options available on our website at store.mpiprocessing.com. Um, when you close the drawer, you can also lock the drawer here and remove the key. So for our purposes here, we are going to keep the drawer open and remove the key so that once we have the printer hooked up, it will automatically pop the drawer. Now turning the register upside down, you'll notice that here is the port where we're going to plug in our cash register cable from the printer. So again, we're going to pull the cash register cable from the back of the printer so it's already connected to the other side. And then we are going to simply plug this into there so that now when we hit a cash option on the Venn POS system, it will automatically pop the register open. Next, we're gonna set up the PAX S300, which is compatible with most processors such as TSYS, Global, First Data, and Heartland through our MPI gateway. So this is the S300. It comes pre-tested with your processor. We do a test transaction before it leaves the office to make sure that everything is good to go. It has the mag strip swipe on the side here, as well as the slip on the bottom for your chip card. It also accepts any Apple Pay, Android, NFC payments. So now we're going to focus on plugging in everything. So you're gonna notice that there's a blue, yellow, and red uh, port here. We're not going to focus on the blue or the yellow, only the red. You'll notice that red here is labeled LAN. So we're going to plug our Cat5 cable in to the LAN port here, as well as plugging the other side of the Cat5 cable into the Apple Extreme. And then we are going to plug the power cord into the power port here. A highly recommended add-on option is the Socket Mobile Bluetooth Scanner, which comes already paired to your iPad. So this completes the unboxing of the Venn Point of Sale Register System. And in under 15 minutes, we have fully unboxed and set up Venn, which is the number one point of sale system.